Hi. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Good, good. So first of all, congratulations. I enjoyed watching season two more than season one, actually, and I finished the first seven episodes in one day. So it's pretty good. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> So Rupert, um, your comic timing is impeccable more so in season two. And I completely agree with Shyamalan when he said that you kind of sort of steal every scene you're in. So was this an easy transition for you to play Julian? Did it kind of come easily to you? Uh, no, not really. He's a, he's a kind of a very alien creature to me. He's, he's a real kind of extrovert and kind of tuning into that kind of thing is, is difficult for me because it's really not me at all. Um, and obviously the accent is something that's kind of another kind of layer on top of that. So yeah, it, it takes a while. It takes a while to kind of get back into the kind of Julian headspace because it's a real cocktail of darkness, particularly in this this season. So it's it's a lot of fun. I I really enjoy enjoy playing him. Now, you have previously said that Leanne was kind of a challenge for you because you because this character makes you step out of your comfort zone. So how much did this apply to the arc in season two? Because you're still sort of like the scary unknown presence on the show. Yeah, I think that um, Leanne, especially towards the end of season two, we start to see a completely different color and element to her. And um, I honestly, I found like stepping into that a little bit easier than I do with the quiet, demure, kind of reserved side of Leanne. Because it's, it's one of the hardest things to do is to be still, especially for me. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> she still retains that stillness and that, you know, she's still closed off. But we definitely we definitely start to see her kind of un uncurl. And we see the, uh, we learn a bit about her past and a bit more about why she's there and why she is the way she is. So we definitely get to know her a lot better. And, you know, I got to know her better as well while shooting it. Rupert, I heard that Knight would give you these notes for a scene and you've never had notes like that before, you've said. So what notes or advice would you say you received from him that you still carry with you to this day? Uh, yeah, Knight has this incredible ability of just saying kind of, just, just, uh, kind of not a lot really, but they, they, they just mean so much and they have this amazing, amazing way of kind of articulating exactly what he wants. Um, and just a kind of a sentence and you know exactly kind of where he's coming from and it's, it's sometimes something you'd never even think about um but you just his brain is kind of always thinking about kind of each one of these characters their kind of past and their future and it's, it's it's incredible that he can kind of retain that in his in his mind um so yeah he's, he's just a, he's an amazing person to to have on set and he and you just feel very safe with him kind of around and at the helm um He's, he's, he, I think this genre as well is, is kind of, there's no one that does it better. So it's, it's, it's great, to, great to work with him. And lastly, if you could pick a tagline for each other's character, what would it be? <laughs> oh my God. Fashion from the financial district. <laughs> what? Uh, what I said he's very brash and he's from the financial yeah. district. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was a big joke. Um, I That's would say... Fun. I know, you go first. I need to think. You go first. Yeah, I need to think. Uh, I don't know. Brilliant. <laughs> that would be I'm my. I'm good view. at taglines. Do you like um, a catchphrase, or like if you if you had to describe a catchphrase? <laughs> I don't think the end's got. I don't have any catchphrases. catchphrases. Mister, hello, Mrs. Turner. That's mine, probably. <laughs> yeah. I thought that yeah. actually is mine. Hello, Mrs. Turner. We've gone way off your, your, your question, sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Well, thank you so much, though, for the chat. I know I've got to wrap up on this, but thank you so much sorry. for the chat. Wishing you all the best. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.